Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like it's that time again where we have to dig into the shit. Yes, I have to reply to some of these hate comments because sometimes they just start coming in and I'm left with no other choice but to make one of these great videos that I actually really enjoy making. So let's go ahead and get into it. What are you arguing? I'm so confused. Yes, refined sugar is horrible. So what are you on about? Organ meats are proven to be very healthy. Veganism is horrible, not only for our bodies, but our environment. Vegans have a 46% higher risk for bone fractures. Also, your hands are not free from blood as organic farmers are using fish emulsions and bone meat from factory farmed animals. Not to mention all the pesticides used to grow your food. So let's not act like you being a vegan makes you better. You are not. Damn, for, vegans have a 46% higher chance of bone fracture risk. And did you see the science that he linked there in that comment? I mean. Uh, good, good science there, uh, LH. Uh, fucking fantastic. Also, I didn't, I didn't realize that veganism was so bad for my body. I mean, uh, clearly, clearly, uh, you know, I've been vegan almost three years, not two and a half years to be exact. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm withering away, as you can see, my. My brain is rotting away, my flesh is going away, I've lost all my gains. Everything is just turning to absolute shit, absolutely. And yeah, uh, apparently uh, plant foods are only eaten by people. Uh, plant foods are not eaten by the animals that Fuckstick here is eating as well too. So, he, he does have a good point there. Those animals do not eat any type of crops at all. It's not like those crops are grown. It's not like the majority of the crops that are grown in the world or the United States are grown to feed animals to then feed humans. And then the pesticides, of course, the fucking pesticides. And I'm, I'm not better than anyone. I don't remember ever saying that I'm better than anyone, but apparently uh, this guy thinks that I am better than other people, so... Uh, thank you. Thank you for that. That was actually really nice of you there, LH. Can you explain why people suffer health and mentally why on a vegan diet? Can you explain why people suffer health and mentally why on a vegan diet? Well, can you explain why people on a meat-based diet uh, suffer health and mentally why on a meat-based diet? What what the fuck does this mean? Miss Bobby here, uh, I, you know, it's just clearly a few typos here, Miss Bobby. I'm, I'm gonna excuse those typos. You know, I, I make them all the time as well too. I understand. Uh, she probably lives a busy life. You see, I, I wasn't aware that a vegan diet can cause health problems. I thought a diet that wasn't properly planned can cause health problems. But Miss Bobby seems to be one step ahead of that. If you knew anything about nutrition, you would know refined sugar is bad and organ meats are good. This is pretty simple stuff. By the way, hate to break it to you, but unless you're growing your own food, you are indeed participating in the slaughter of animals, crop harvesting, pesticides, and bone meal. Congrats, you are a hypocrite. I'm the hypocrite. I'm the hypocrite. I was not aware that these crops were only used to feed myself and other plant-based people, nor was I aware that they didn't, they weren't, these crops were never used to feed animals. I had no idea. I thought all these animals lived in, you know, that magical pasture-raised life and were not supplemented with anything either, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I was, was not aware of that, but thank you for uh, informing the, uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Get Over It, for informing me on how this works and calling me a hypocrite, you fucked hard hypocrite. You're very confusing. Sugar is bad, and it's a proven fact. How are you arguing this? Laugh out loud, you are a joke. Well, Angela Schrute, first of all, let me tell you that I am a huge fan of The Office. I'm not the biggest fan of your character on The Office because I think you're a little bit of a snobby bitch to say the least. I don't find you attractive and I think uh, your your righteous Christianity bullshit is, is, uh, is unacceptable to say the least, okay? And yeah, I agree, sugar is bad. Sugar can be bad, by the way. So uh, 
I, I think I think we're in agreement here. But the only one who's a joke here is you and your fucking bullshit character in the office. Which, by the way, could be erased and I don't think anyone would give a fuck. So, who's the fucking joke now, bitch? When did he call himself an idiot? Am I missing it or is this a clickbait video? By the way, uh, for anyone who doesn't know what he's talking about, this is in regards to one of my videos of Swole Normus. Swole Normus has got quite a bit of nut huggers who hug on quite tightly to those uh, professor nuts of his. Uh, this Tony the Pony fella is not... He's not understanding how Sol Normus called himself an idiot. So if you watch the video and you know anything about nutrition, you'll see how he called himself an idiot. And you see Tony the Pony, the reason why you don't understand how he called himself an idiot, it's probably because you're an idiot too. Does that make sense? No? Well, that makes sense that it doesn't make sense because you see, you're an idiot. You are not better than someone who eats meat. Why are you shaming people? Well, Miss uh, Tina Bo Bobina, uh, I was not aware I was shaming someone, but if you feel ashamed for exploiting animals needlessly for taste pleasure or tradition or whatever little bullshit excuse you wanna throw out there, then maybe you should look in the mirror if one doesn't crack from your ugly ass face. Because Jesus Christ, look at that. I wonder if your channel pick is edited, but in case it isn't, it's funny to see how you promote veganism for a healthier life, even though you might be in roids. First of all, one does not go into roids, sir. Mr. Uh, Creativito Información. Oh, he's trying, that's a like, ha, ha. That's a little play on words. Uh, I think he's, he's trying to talk in Spanish there. Uh, I, I think, but yeah, dude, one doesn't go into roids, one does roids, and uh, thank you for the compliment, thank you, thank you, for uh, thinking that I'm on roids. Clearly, uh, you, you do not know how to get jacked like yours truly, like the slickster here. Apparently, I can be compared to someone who's on roids, so thanks, dude. Isn't veganism kind of a privilege? Nothing douchier than a vegan shaming people for eating meat. Isn't eating meat a kind of privilege? Nothing douchier than a meat eater shaming people for being vegan. First, you're not even a doctor. Secondly, with the use of all these fake vegetable oils being used in cooking, every autoimmune disease is crazy high. You think crap like canola oil is good for you? That shit is the worse than smoking. The use of lard in down about 90% why is everyone sick? I will use lard, real butter, and coconut oil. See if my gout goes away. Uh, your, to see if your gout goes away. Uh, how, how's that gout going for you there, buddy? For your fucking gout, you fucking dumb shit. Holy shit. You're gonna use lard, real butter, and coconut oil to see if your gout goes away. What in the fuck? Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm aware I'm, I'm not a doctor, uh, never claimed to be a fucking doctor. And when the fuck did I say that oils are good for you? So wh wh where are you coming from, Mr. What the fuck is that? Mr. Vin Mangle B? You and your fucking gout and pain and now on suing heart disease or cerebrovascular disease or diabetes or whatever the fuck you're going to get from following some stupid shit diet like that. You fuck you. Damn it. Bruh, you, you, roids, don't even lie. All right, listen, you fucks there. Fucking Mr. Master Bates. Great play on fucking words. I'm actually kind of jelly. I didn't think of that name myself first. Uh, I appreciate the compliments, but please give the compliments to those who are actually on the roids. Okay? I'd greatly appreciate it. Damn it. I don't want my head getting too fat here thinking that I'm so jacked and awesome looking to the point where people keep accusing me of being on fucking roids. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. What is this crap? Well, this is my channel. Their person with the letter M as your picture. This is the Natural Hulksters channel. I also go by Slickster as well too, so uh, nice to meet you. And this crap channel of mine is the one that you're watching and the video that you watch there was a video about Swole Normus still being a fucking Professor and a bit of a swole flake as well too. A bit of a Not a snowflake, but a swole flake as we all know if you've watched any of my videos The guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about but That's just who he is. There's no way that swole flake likes that. 
by the way, there's no way that he likes all these people. Maybe he does, you know, maybe he likes people grabbing onto his nuts. And to grab onto Swoflake's nuts, you've really gotta be a special kind of person to listen to that idiot's content all the time or watch his content all the time. And that guy pumps out videos, which is quite impressive to say the least. I appreciate the grind nonetheless. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we got for now, but we've got to give the award for the best hate comment for the haters, and the winner is, drum roll please. There it is, all right. Well, the question is, why is this lady, Tina Bobina, the winner of this award? And I'll tell you why. The reason why this person is the winner of this prestigious award is solely because projection of your true feelings is one of the greatest forms of comedy when you don't even realize it. Hence why I'm making this video. So Tina, congratulations on winning this award for projecting your true feelings on why you're so ashamed for giving into an agriculture business or a business that profits off the exploitation, the needless exploitation of other animals. So congratulations, Tina, you deserve this award. So that's about all I have for now for you wonderful ladies and gentlemen. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. As you know, I love to engage with every single one of you. Please know I appreciate every single one of you, including all you haters out there. You guys know who I am. I'm The Natural, so I wanna thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for the next one.